Why crush 3D printed lattices? Well, I was recently at Vixiv's headquarters in Cincinnati, Ohio, and loading 3D printed lattices to failure is part of how Vixiv equips its AI model used in lattice design. Why lattices? 3D printing of lattice forms provides a way to bring light weighting, less mass, to components, parts that would otherwise be bulky solids. Now, lattices can be highly complex geometric forms, often requiring a lot of computation to generate the lattice design. Vixiv's alternative is to test tens of thousands of physical lattice specimens to feed all that data into an AI model that has become essentially a lattice expert, able to quickly deliver an array of different lattice design possibilities for any part and loading condition that the user presents. Here is Vixiv CEO, Aaron Chow. It's great to be able to do things lightweight and make that very efficiently and make that very quickly with very little effort. But the second thing that we're hoping for is that this actually opens up a lot of capabilities for organizations and individuals who may never have been able to access this sort of technology before. If we need to make something lightweight, we might find 10 solutions that can hold the weight that you want and is very lightweight at the same time. What these additional structures do for us is it gives us a lot more possibility and a lot more capability to actually find a solution. An AI model equipped by over a year of physical testing is why the software can deliver all these different lattice design options for a given part. Here are examples of what that physical testing looks like and the kinds of things that the Vixiv team saw and learned from that testing. The first object I'm going to be speaking of is a FCC, or a fifth standard cubic crystal structure. This is one of the foundational geometries you see in crystallography. What you'll see when we test this is that it's a very stiff object, but because you have a lot of half beams on the perimeter of the system, it will fail relatively early compared to some of the other geometries that we'll see here today. Our second geometry that I'm going to speak about is a body-centered cubic. This is a much stronger object at the cost of the stiffness is not as robust as a face-centered cubic. This is also one of the most printable designs that we found in our processes, especially when we are using an HP Multi-Jet Fusion 5200. When it fails, it'll be much more spectacular because it'll have so much energy within the part when it fails that it'll just nearly explode along an anticipated shear plane so we can actually not just anticipate when it fails, but what that failure will look like. The last polymer part I'm going to speak to today is based on a fluorite design. It is one that allows for both high stiffness control as well as high strength control. The cost is that this is much more complex, not just to design, but also to manufacture, to post-process, and to overall get into the field for a designer. And when it fails, this will also be extremely spectacular because the energy associated with the load it will be holding will be so high that this will shatter. You'll see debris sort of go flying. These were all polymer lattices. In developing their software, Vixiv had to start somewhere. They started with PA12 nylon 3D printed using multi-jet fusion. But testing is underway now related to other lattice forms made through other methods of 3D printing in other materials. The testing right now underway is focused on titanium lattices made through laser powder bed fusion. Metallics allow you to do much more complicated things in much more hostile environments. 
However, the overall design space is much more limited because supports for a complex structure like this are nearly unremovable. And overall, you also have the issue of the titanium is inherently stronger, so we need much more robust testing equipment to collect meaningful data so that we are going to be running smaller parts. And what you'll see with this is that the titanium will actually start shearing and you'll hear this really interesting sound of metal snapping and overall shearing that is something you wouldn't normally hear, which is sort of a cool part of this test.